What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you about some things that helped me to recover from a little hip injury and back injury. It may just be because of time, but these things did help relieve some pain for me uh, while I was healing. And I'm not 100% right now. I'm going to give another probably, uh, probably until Monday and start running again, but I'm feeling like 85% better. I can actually walk around. I can actually get out of bed without having to roll over and do this weird little uh, squat dance bending over thing. But I'm telling you, I was in pain for the last three days before this. And these are some of the things that helped me. And you guys probably know what a few of them are because there was a comment from Large Eddie. He said that uh, because I was injured that this was my time to shine because I have a ton of massage guns and I do have a lot of massage guns and I will talk about those. And those did help relieve some of the pain for me for sure. So let's go ahead and talk about some of those things. And like I said, this did not fix the problems. These probably helped alleviate some of the pain. I don't think there's a lot of science behind all these tools, but I'm feeling a lot better and I will have to contribute that to mainly time, but also to some of these tools. So let's go ahead and talk about the first tool. And this is going to be this one. This is the Life Pro Pulse FX. Unfortunately, they stopped making this one. This is the best massage gun that I've used and definitely for the price. This one, super strong. You guys know that I love massage guns. And I actually do use massage guns probably at least two or three times a week, if not more than that. And this is the one that I go to if I really have, you know, a lot of pain or something that I really want to dig into a muscle. So, uh, you know, back pain could be a lot of things. It could be sciatica. It could be somebody lifting heavy weights and breaking their back like I did. Uh, but this thing is super powerful. So I use this for sure. You know, I was massaging my back with it over here. And like even now, if I just point it right there, it feels good. And you can put it higher and higher. So I would put it higher and higher on myself and you know sometimes it feels good and sometimes it doesn't so right there it's a little bit too hard and some points are really really tender and because this massage gun is a 16 millimeter amplitude and super powerful sometimes I need something that is a little less powerful and that's why I went to this one. This is the next massage gun. It is a mini massage gun. It's a lot smaller than that one to handle, although that one's not too big either. But this one is small, compact, and it really helps me to you know get those spots. And while it is powerful, it's not as powerful as that massage gun. I think this is only 10 millimeters, so it's not a huge amplitude, but it does have some power behind it, but not as powerful as that one. So that's why I like to use a combination of this little mini massage gun and that big one whenever I don't want to have a ton of hurt by the massage gun. So I will use this too. You know, I will get my hip area. This is the area that was hurting a whole lot. So I was really, you know, massaging that area like right there, all down that leg right here. This is where it was hurting a whole lot. So I, I definitely use those two things to help me heal up and help me to be walking again right now. Because I'm telling you, I could not bend over the other day. I was trying to bend over, like just bend over. I could not do that, but now, hey, I'm a lot better. Again, time probably healed me rather than these things, but uh, this, this stuff did help me out when I was in pain. Uh, another thing that I use is this. This is the double up roller. And because I could not get on the ground, like bending over, getting on the ground, was painful so i could not do any type of foam rolling because just that kind of laying down on the ground and trying to get back up with the back pain it was horrible so something like this this is a double up roller uh, it's something that really is good especially if you don't want to get on the ground this will help you you know you could massage yourself like you can massage that leg right there and get and dig deep into those spots really good and it's like foam rolling, but you don't have to be on the ground rolling around. And you can get your upper back. I just you just have to kind of uh, manipulate it like right there, and I could get that back that was hurting also. So I was really trying to massage different areas with this thing. So a double up roller, another thing that really helped me to get over the back pain that I was having. Uh, and then lastly. This is something that I haven't reviewed yet, but I'm going to do a review of. I was kind of skeptical about this tool. These are cupping devices. So this is from 
80 cupper. I will do a full review on this, but basically these are smart cupping machines. So I think uh, somebody did say that it looks like an Alexa, but and, and it really does. It looks like an Alexa. It's just like a, a little disc over here with the cupper. So basically what you do is stick it on your, let's go ahead and put it on my shoulder. So I do have two of them. So what you would do is stick it on your shoulder, turn it on, stick it on your shoulder, oops, right there, and can you guys see that? And it would start, or stick it wherever part you want, and it starts sucking in. So they call this kind of a reverse massage. Instead of digging into you, it's pulling up on that muscle, releasing the fascia that way. So, and initially it does feel weird. Like you will have little red marks all over the place and it does feel weird, but I was using it on my hip all over the place. You will get these little red circle dots all over you. You guys can see the back of my back. This is how my back is looking. So you can see all those crazy dots and I have a lot more on lower back, especially on my hip. It's pretty crazy looking with all those bruises like Malka Phelps had during the Olympics, but this thing actually did feel good too. Uh, what I like about this is that you can just set it wherever you want and it'll do its thing. Like you, I can set it on my arm. I generally don't massage my arms, but I could, all right, let's turn it back on. I can set it on my arm, like right here, and just leave it there and it'll do its thing. I really enjoy this thing. Again, I will do a full review on this 80 weight cupper in the future. But yeah, this is one of the other things that also helped me to recover. So with all these little devices that I have for recovery, I'm glad the companies do send me stuff to review so I could test them out. And when I am injured, I can use them. So I was definitely trying to use everything that I had. And these are the things that I use to help me recover from my back injury, hip injury. And now I'm moving around a lot better. I also did a lot of stretching and I took some pain pills also, then that also helped me to recover. And now I'm getting there, but I'm not quite there. Hopefully a couple more days, I'll be back in the gym and back running. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this look into my recovery for this back injury and the tools I use to help me recover from that back injury, hip injury. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can be back running, lifting, and that's gonna be it for this video. Peace.